Hey there, this is Cardell, and welcome to a short little video series that I plan on doing. Uh, try and covering my my learning curve with uh, Unity, learning Unity, and in the process also learning the uh, intricacies of C Sharp. Um, it's it's been interesting, so uh, let's get started because this might end up being about 15 minutes. So. Uh, basically, I am in the process of making a simple, simple game where you spell words, get points, it tallies them up, and you continue until you can't make words anymore. And then it will eventually store those as a high score, and you can check it with your friends, blah, blah, blah. That's the goal. Right now, I have to learn how Unity works. So I started by making a the pl like the playing field and putting the cards on there, and then I started working with the values of them and trying to figure out how I'm going to store the values to retrieve them later and all that kind of stuff that's going to be um, useful when I finish the actual textures and all that stuff. So right now there are no graphics other than the basic structure shape stuff. There's not even a background which is why it's blue. But let's start off with showing you the fun parts. Um, essentially what I wanted to do is it's blank until you run this program and then it puts the cards out and I have it making nine cards on the screen and then it assigns a value now the problem is is that um, I couldn't figure out a way to store the data in unity like a database type of a thing so I had to find something that was common so we use uh, a prefab which prefabricated item so I don't have to recreate it and so I made my card the way that I want it so that uh, I can click on it and it triggers uh, scripts and does all the stuff that it's supposed to so I made the card prefab which is this one here and the problem is is that um, it's it's not really unique uh, apparently you can do it but I'm yeah, we're doing something really basic here. So um, what we did is we made a the score be on the screen all the time. And it is there when you start the program. So it runs the setup script. Now the setup script basically starts when, when you run it, it's going to um, has a the base card which is value one. So it's just gonna, it says, okay, I'm starting at card one. It's gonna put nine cards out, and it has an X position. Uh, so it, X position on the map is a negative 15, which is over here somewhere. And um, then we go, uh, we're gonna increment it by four. Now, the problem that I had is I can do the PHP side, I can do the arrays, um, I can do all the kind of stuff that the game's gonna need. I can do some of it in JavaScript, however, I couldn't find a tutorial on the web that showed how to do uh, create prefab stuff without throwing a whole bunch of errors in what, the way that I was doing it because I don't understand it yet. So everything that I did find uh, it looked a lot easier for C Sharp. However, I ran into other problems later on, but anyways. So what happened is uh, I found these two lines of code. Um, so you create a vector 3, which is a uh, spot in 3D space. Uh, and then you're going to instantiate a prefab. And it's this resources.load. Now the thing that I found out is that you I, I had to create this. If I There's a resources folder here. I had to make that and move the card into that folder and then it worked. It wasn't in there to start with and it didn't want to load it and I couldn't figure out why and did a couple more searches and found out why. So anyways, that's so something to, to keep a, a note in the back of your mind on. Uh, so anyways, yeah, so it, it uh, does it nine times, increases the X, uh, which is the position by four, and that's it. <clears throat> so now we have our card click. So when it makes the card, it has a card click script associated with it. And I will just run it really quick here. And I will show you where it puts all the cards out, like that. 
and so there's all the cards and you can click on it and it does stuff so what I wanted to do is I wanted to eventually you're, uh, I'll kind of show you here so it's going to have the textures eventually are going to have 26 textures one for each letter of the alphabet and then it's going to put a value on the card and it's going to have it floating somewhere oh man it's tiring learning is so tiring anyways so it's going to have a number floating on the card um, since I can't see it I had to figure something else out uh, I can see this so to tag it what I'm doing is I'm putting an exclamation point in front of the uh, the name the object name and how I did that is on the click what in the hell just happened there that is awesome look at that like how it totally screwed that up for me anyways <clears throat> uh, okay so I have uh, I grab my value and my letter so I have uh, I know what my card value is and what the letter is on there so I can output a debug so I know that I can read it that's that was just some of my stuff and then I just insert an exclamation point on it so now when you click it if it has an exclamation point uh, these are old I've since changed them uh, this worked when it was in free aspect but as soon as I loaded it into the web player it was off a lot so I fixed that um, uh, set it back get rid of the uh, exclamation point and then I want to find out what the card number is so I have a way to identify what card you actually clicked uh, since the X's are going the X uh, value is always the same on these cards that's what I used so get its position in X space convert it to an integer and this is my everything okay got it XYZ so I'm keeping the like storing the actual XYZ coordinates of the card that you clicked in full form without converting it to an integer so that it's dead on I can spawn it exactly where it was like this same thing as before and then uh, you destroy the card that you're clicking and put in your debug and your log and that's it that's all there is to it so uh, the other part that I will talk about is uh, I will talk about uh, the array side of it I posted in the uh, in reddit I had a question about arrays. I, I originally had a uh, what was it? I ten thousand some odd. I think it was ten thousand and twenty uh, character array, which was the entire probability thing that, where it would randomly choose the letter from it. Um, and that was actually generated on the fly in the PHP script. So I just printed it out, copied and pasted it into um, the script, so I didn't have to do any calculations on it. And it locked up Mono Developer like constantly. Every time I typed the letter on that script, it locked up. So I decided I'd have to actually code the entire function. So here is the half-broken, missing a letter probability thing in PHP where we have our original array with the letter and the frequency um, we go through the whole thing grab the letter and the value of each letter whatever uh, multiply it out add it to a string and then we bust that string out into an array and return the array that's essentially what what the script does very very simple However, in this, it was a little wonky because of arrays. Now, in JavaScript, I could get the arrays to work, but I couldn't figure out how to get the prefabs to go in the game. So when I decided I got the prefabs to load, but I couldn't get the arrays to work, I found out that you can do a list. Lists and dictionaries. So a dictionary is actually what I was doing. It's a similar way, um, but it didn't seem to quite fit. Um, it the dictionaries seem to be more of a um, I need to access a specific part and I didn't really like that so what we did is uh, a list instead 
so we created our list and then we added all of the values for the letters with a, uh, as a string so we got our little dash here so I can visually see it um, and then uh, once we're done uh, I had I had it gra grabbing a random one just so I made sure it worked and it did so we make a uh, null string empty string um, have an integer and then we go through our list and we do the exact same thing we grab the letter which is the first part okay and then we go 0 1 2 and we grab the rest of it multiply it by 100 convert it to an int because these are uh, it's a float and then uh, so for every value in this whatever this is append that number of letters to the string bust it into a character array an array away yeah array and then uh, pick a random one and there's my letter and then we go ahead and assign the the V dash L or V number dash L letter uh, to the object name which you can see right here so I have that's awesome screwed up everything anyways not exactly the same, but whatever. Uh, so yeah, so you can see V1LE. So if I click this one, V1LE now has an exclamation point. And if I click it, it disappears. And there's no more V1LE on there. This one is actually V1LI now. So let's get rid of that one again. And what do we got now? V1LB. So that's that's basically what it's doing now. And that's your your whole tagging thing so eventually what you'll be able to do is go like this and tag a whole bunch of them submit and then what it's going to do is it's going to go through and rip them all out of the game uh, anyways and it'll give you new letters where those ones were and then you continue spelling um, doing stuff like that. So that's basically what I learned. Um, last couple days was getting the um, PHP side working. Um, late last night was a little bit of Unity setting up the board. Um, today, um, fixing the alignment in the web player and the uh, rewriting the entire program basically from uh, JavaScript coding to uh, C Sharp. Um, yeah, it's been quite the experience. Uh, people on Reddit are awesome. There's tons of stuff on the internet. Uh, everything that I have learned, I have learned through uh, Google and people. I, I'm asking people on Reddit, so uh, make sure you go and check out the uh, Reddit uh, slash r slash uh, Unity. Is it Unity or Unity 3D? I don't remember. Anyways, uh, I think it's just Unity. But here we go. This is our our web player now. So. Uh, Hope you guys enjoy, and um, yeah, we'll uh, we'll see you guys later.